I came away from ADPD with a tremendous amount of optimism. Uh, I think we saw new drugs and we saw new technologies. In terms of new drugs, uh, denimumab, of course, uh, stands out uh, as a very promising agent, and not only promising for its therapeutic uh, purpose, but also uh, promising in terms of a new kind of trial. Uh, so the idea of using a tau ligand uh, first, uh, and then if that was positive, the patient likely has Alzheimer's disease. So then doing the amyloid imaging, that greatly reduced the screen fail rate on the amyloid imaging. And of course, the high tau patients were eliminated. The drug was administered uh, and it had a, uh, had a remarkable amyloid lowering effect uh, and uh, it uh, met its primary outcome on the IADRS. This is a novel outcome, the Integrated Alzheimer's Disease Rating Scale. It's basically a combination of the ADAS-COG and the ADCS-ADL measure. So it is a functional cognitive composite. So again, we see novelty uh, in the outcome. We see novelty in defining the population. Uh, we see novelty in the therapeutic intervention. I think that's a, just a, a terrific uh, way uh, of advancing clinical trials and therapeutics for Alzheimer's disease. ADPD also had a number of technologies that I thought were really fascinating uh, and can contribute uh, to clinical trials, drug development, and eventually have a role in clinical care. Uh, so among the things that I would highlight was the presentation from NQ, uh, which is a way of passively measuring uh, the speed that with which someone is using uh, a, a cell phone uh, or their computer. Uh, and it's shown to be sensitive to Parkinson's disease, and now has been shown to be sensitive to early Alzheimer's disease. And I think it's that passive monitoring that is going to be important and the continuous monitoring that is going to be important. So I think that's a new data strategy that's attractive to me. I also like the Unlearn presentation. Uh, Unlearn is a is an, uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence approach uh, that focuses on digital twins. Uh, so it is possible to create essentially an avatar uh, of, the, of each of the members of the placebo group and to increase the power uh, of the trial or decrease the length or decrease uh, the, the size of the trial by using the digital twins. So this, of course, is, is emerging. We don't quite know what, how the regulators view this yet, uh, but this is the kind of technology that I think will uh, amplify clinical trials. Finally, I think some of the analyses that were done, I, I was fascinated by Suzanne Hendricks' presentation. Uh, she talked about the ADCOMS, the Alzheimer's disease uh, composite score. Uh, and this is a way of using uh, the information collected on the standard uh, CDR sum of boxes, the standard ADAS-COG and the standard MMSE into a weighted score uh, which uh, then is sensitive to change. In addition, she talked about the IADRS, which was used in the denanumab trial. Uh, and she talked about uh, the global statistical test, which I think is fascinating because it allows you to put several outcomes together. Uh, if the outcomes are internally consistent, the statistical uh, power will increase. If they're really divergent and therefore uh, the, there was some lack of coherence among the responses, the statistical power uh, will decrease. So I think those are extremely useful analytic strategies and uh, this is what we need uh, to advance uh, new drug development and therapies for our patients with Alzheimer's disease.